Welcome back to my channel, Cassandra here, and if you're new, I post videos all on beauty and lifestyle, and just about anything that tickles my fancy, and if you click the notification bell and the subscription button, you'll be up to date on everything that I post. Anyways, I decided to do another skincare video because skincare is my favorite thing of life, and I've been purging along my makeup, I've been purging my clothes, I've been purging my everything, and I'm like on this kind of minimalist journey not necessarily 100% minimalist I'm actually gonna do a video talking about that but I just like been purging some stuff and during my purge I realized that I've had so many um, Desium products because Desium is one of my favorite brand I love their products I love their um, line I love everything about it so I've been purging out a lot of my Desium um, skincare products and I figured why not talk about all the stuff that I hated and then I'm gonna talk about all the stuff that I've loved. Um, so I've done um, Desium videos before, The Ordinary videos before, I've talked about some of the products before, but I've never actually talked about the stuff that I do not like. So because of that, I'm gonna talk about all the stuff that I hated in this video. So again, Desium uh, is the parent company of The Ordinary. They have a ton of other skincare lines under their um, umbrella, under the Desium umbrella, and they make really affordable skincare line um, brands um, really great ingredients, but not necessarily everything I find is great, at least not great for me. And for that reason, I'm going to tell you all about the stuff that I hated. So, first thing I did not like, but I actually finished it because it cost money. Um, I've talked about the fountain supplements before. I've tried the fountain beauty molecule supplements. I actually, I actually, I really liked it. I just hated how it tasted. Um, but I think nothing tops the taste of this one, which is the fountain, the phytocollagen molecule. So collagen is great for keeping your skin looking a lot more hydrated. And you know, during the winter time, that's all I am focusing on is hydration, hydration, hydration. So I went and I was doing a little bit of research on collagen, phytocollagen, um, what other thing? Oh God, I can't remember. But I was just doing a lot of research on collagen. Um, it's like all the rage. And I figured why not buy this, try it out, see how I like it. Um, so it's saying it's supposed to, it's supposed to like boost radiance, help your hair, maintain elastic elasticity and so on and so forth. I didn't like it, um, but I finished it. I, I I I didn't like it. I felt like I got more results from the beauty molecule than I did from this molecule, um, from this. And for that reason alone and the price point, I will not be repurchasing this. I'll just stick to my regular multivitamin and that's that. So I'm not gonna purchase this again. Another product I did not like is from this chemistry brand, which is under the Desium um, umbrella. And it's the Inhibit Body Serum. Look, it's not even supposed to be this color. It's not even supposed to be this color. It's supposed to be a faint, um, faint, clear color, like a faint um, color, and now it's like brown. So I got into the hype of buying this product when I went to the Desium store. They opened up their first store in New York. It's really cute. I got all excited, and um, I went in the store with the purpose of purchasing some other product, the Ordinary products, and then the sales associate kind of talked me into buying this. Now, when I purchased this, I want to say this cost about $18 or $20. I would never in a million years spend that much money on anything, but you know, it's beauty, I love it, and then sometimes I get caught up in the hype and I spend more money than I need to. So I'm not necessarily a fan of putting product on your body that's going to pretty much change how your body is supposed to naturally function. Um, and that being like putting a deodorant that's supposed to stop you from like perspiring, you know, like the the, the, the secret clinical um, deodorant. I'm just not a fan of it. Even though it works, I'm not a fan of using stuff like that. I'm also not a fan of using this one, which is supposed to change your body chemistry and make your hair like kind of stop growing or make it grow a little bit finer. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. I know it sounds stupid of me for me to say that because I use a lot of other chemicals in my butt, on my in my skin, but that's just how I feel when it comes to stuff like this. This did not do much for me. In fact, all it did was just make my skin look really shiny, and that's about it. It didn't stop the hair from growing. It didn't make the hair grow back any finer. And for that reason, I was just like, this was such a total waste of my money. I wish I could bring it back, but you know, it is what it is. You live and learn. And yeah, I didn't like it at all. And for that reason and the price point, I will not be repurchasing this at all. 
So another um, product I purchased from the chemistry brand is the Retin Oil. Now this, I didn't, I have a love-hate relationship with this product. Um, I bought it for a specific reason and that was because I burnt my leg and I figured using um, bio oil really wasn't doing anything. Maybe this will help me with my scar and it did nothing at all in terms of like getting rid of the marks and that was one of the reasons why I bought it because it said it's supposed to be a body oil for scars and stretch marks and I used it daily and I didn't really see that much of a difference in, ter in terms of the discoloration of my scar. However, it did make my skin feel very smooth. I actually like to, I use it on my butt and I use it on my legs um, and it makes your butt and everything feel so smooth but it doesn't necessarily do that anything else um so for that reason alone um i was like oh maybe i would buy another one but re realistically the price is just too expensive and you only get like 3.34 ounces i'm better off using a body scrub um if that if if i wanted smoothness um yeah um i also have a lot of scars um stretch marks on my butt and this didn't get rid of them at all so for that reason, if a product isn't going to function how it's supposed to function, I'm just not going to deal with it. So that, for that reason, I'm just not, not, not here for it at all. <laughs> I am probably going to just mention all three of these just to speed up this video. Uh, I'm going to talk about the high silicone primer, the vitamin C, 23% hyaluronic, and the azelaic acid. So the primer, the silicone, the sil the silicone primer didn't do anything um when it comes to primer i look for stuff that's going to be pore filling this is not one of those pore filling primers i feel like if you have dry skin and not oily skin you'll benefit so much more from this my skin is oily so i find this to be more moisturizing i didn't find that it fill in my pores nor did i find that it made my makeup stay on a little bit longer i just found that it was just a great moisturizer and that that's that and for me, if a product isn't going to function in how the company said it's going to function, then I'm just not going to be here for it. Nice moisturizer, horrible primer. So that's for that. I'm not buying that again. Um, now the vitamin C, 23% in hyaluronic spares. I have a love-hate relationship with this product. More hate than love. Um, solely because I actually re repurchased the, the vitamin C, 30%, and I actually like that way more. Um, the 23% vitamin C suspension, I find it to be very gritty. It felt like I was putting on like a scrub on my face and I don't like it at all. It was also very greasy and for somebody that has oily skin, I want to put product on my face that's just going to moisturize my skin but not necessarily leave my skin feeling greasy. And I just, I just, I'm not here for this product. I will say that it is very brightening, however, um, because I just hate the texture of it, um, I hate the stinging, I just hate it so much, I will not be repurchasing this at all. Plus, I find that I like the 30% better. Um, what I have been doing with this is just using it on my chest, and it does make your chest really bright, but I just, I'm not here for this product, and for that reason, not going to repurchase this at all. The other, like the last product in the tube that I did not like is the Azalic Acid 10% Suspension. I did not find that this product did much for me. Again, I just found this product to be very moisturizing. And Azalic Acid is supposed to be brightening. I didn't find that this was brightening at all. I didn't find that it helped with my hyperpigmentation. I didn't find that it helped with my acne. I don't know if the 10% just wasn't a high enough um, percentage in the product for it to have an effect. If anything, I found that this was just moisturizing and that's it. And if I wanted a moisturizer, I would have bought a moisturizer. But if I'm going to buy something and it's supposed to be brightening, I need to see the effect of it. And for that reason, will not be repurchasing this at all. Um, the I'm going to mention these products in threes because I bought them with the specific reason of helping with my acne. And that's the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc. Um, 1%, the salicylic acid 2%, and the alpha arbutine 2%. So all three products are great for acne and brightening and on its own. However, I did not find that these products were effective at all. Um, I think I've talked about the salicylic acid 2%. 
this was not very effective. I didn't find that it helped anything um, with my face. It was very affordable. It didn't help with my blemish. I didn't find that it did anything for me to want to repurchase it. And for that reason, that's a no. Um, the niacinamide plus 10% zinc. I just don't, I, I, mm, mm, I just don't like this product at all. Um, I'm one of those persons who you like to use a lot of vitamin C on my face and vitamin C if anybody don't know vitamin C and niacinamide it's just a no-no combination so every time I would use like something that has like a vitamin C um, in it or a vitamin C serum I would forget that I've used that and then I would put like the niacinamide on it and then my skin would be very irritated um, and for that reason I just haven't really been messing around that much with it also on its own, I didn't find that it was effective in getting rid of acne. Um, I don't find that zinc on its own, like niacinamide and zinc together on its own, um, from the ordinary, did anything when it comes to getting rid of acne or slowing down acne. In fact, I find that when you ingest zinc um, by itself, on its own, it's more effective because it's working internally with your body chemistry and it helps to just prevent more, um, prevent breakouts than to put it on your face topically. That's just my personal uh, opinion. Um, but I would not be repurchasing this because I didn't find that it was that effective. I also will not be repurchasing the Alpha Arbitune 10%. Um, I bought this with the purpose of it being more brightening um, and also being a little bit more, not necessarily exfoliating, but more help to, more help to get rid of um, acne scars. Didn't do much for me. I don't know if the 2% was just not that effective. Um, the formulation is not bad. I didn't find that it was like bad at all. Some of the products are like from the ordinary. Some of these tubular pro like these pipette products, they can feel a little bit um, tacky. This does not feel tacky at all. However, I just don't find that it's effective. And if a product isn't going to do what it's telling me that it's supposed to do, then I don't see the point in continuing to use it and that's just that so and for that reason I will never be repurchasing that again um another product um, that I won't be repurchasing um, is the advanced retinoid 2% in fact I don't think I'll be purchasing any retinoid product from the ordinary unless they come out with like something that's fantastic and like it's guaranteed to do something but this I didn't find that it did much. In fact, this was more moisturizing than it was anti-aging or anti-acne. Um, it didn't really do anything. I didn't I didn't find that it did that great for me to want to repurchase it and buy it again. Um, I think that the formulation is not bad. Um, I just literally, I was just using this as a moisturizer and I've literally finished the entire bottle like uh, I don't know if you guys can see this there's nothing really in it um, but I didn't find that it did anything I didn't find that it was like that effective for me to continue using it and for that reason this is a absolute no-no and the last product I'm going to be um, I not will I will not be repurchasing and that's the 100% organic cold press Mor Moroccan organ oil um, this didn't do much. Um, it's an oil and I bought it with the purpose of using it in my hair. I didn't find that I like this very much, which is surprising because, you know, argan oil is supposed to be like, like a miracle oil for your hair. In fact, I found that I love the uh, marula oil more than I actually like the argan oil. And for that reason, I'm only going to be repurchasing the marula oil than I will be the argan oil. When it comes to the argan oil, I didn't find that it it was like doing anything for my hair. Like I find that it would just sit on top of my hair and that's it. Like it just didn't do anything for me to want to repurchase it. Plus I love the, the marula oil more. So for that reason, I'm just not here for this. So yeah, all of those products that I've mentioned are going to go in the garbage because I just want to have a nice curated skincare collection. I know what my skin likes and I probably will be inserting a lot of products if The Ordinary comes out with new products here and there. 
But I know what my skin likes, I know what it doesn't like, and I just don't wanna have a ton of product and won't be able to enjoy it all. So for that reason, and that reason alone, I'm gonna be throwing away these products and I will not be repurchasing it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all and have a good night or a good day or whatever you're watching it. Have a great day and I love y'all. Bye.